The Spirit of Innovation with this retirement has completed 5,818 flights as well as 33,938 flight hours. Today was a transition going from the non-rigid blimp that people are familiar with seeing, the GZ Goodyear Zeppelin 20. The GZ20 model uh, for its day was very versatile, very durable. With new technologies, we're able to expand on that and create a, another generation of airships that is going to take us into the kind of missions and jobs that we've been used to doing, television, cross countries, passenger operations. Uh, one of the, the uh, advantages of the new airship, the, the, uh, the NT uh, model, is its maneuverability its ability to stay on station, stay overhead, to stand still in the sky. The GZ-20, while, while a, a perfectly great machine, it did have to continue to move most of the time. The old ship uh, was 192 feet long, the new one is 246 feet long. The old one was 202,700 cubic feet, the new one is over approximately 297,000. The GZ-20 model, what we call cigar-shaped, uh, the, the NT is a little sleeker little, because it's longer it, and it has a, a partial frame. The new airship's a lot faster. Uh, it'll go up to 73 miles an hour, where the older ship is, is 50. And part of that is because of the frame allows them to put a third engine on the tail, which gives it a lot of push. The new airship's a lot easier on, on the pilots. It's a little more intense to fly because it's, it's, a, uh, it's a little more technologically advanced, but it's, uh, there's not a lot of, it's less physical from what I can tell. Wingfoot 2 is what you call a semi-rigid airship. It means it has a partial frame, of course, and people still want to, to call it the Goodyear blimp. Technically, it's not a blimp because it has a somewhat of a frame inside. However, as I like to tell people, uh, semi-rigid new technology airship doesn't roll off the tongue the way Goodyear blimp does. So if you want to call it a Goodyear blimp, we're, we're perfectly happy with that.